In this video, we're going to learn how to make dynamic change using rig 2 u 5 and Unreal Engine 5. This is actually a feature on Unreal Engine. However, I'm going to show you how I set up the skeleton or rather the rig in Blender so that you can also make your own setup. So here we are with rig 2 u 5 game rig and I have set up chest or breast in bones in this case and ponytail number two. I also added a lot of different uh, two or three hair chains here so that you can also explore the module on your own time. So now we export FBX to U5 which makes it really easy to send anything from Blender into Unreal Engine and once you're in Unreal just right click on the pink line asset and create modular control rig. As you can see, I have set up everything here to be dynamic and this has been created using the chain module, which needs an appropriate socket to work. We're going to learn how to use it so that it will automatically find the rest of the chain, in this case for the ponytail, as you can see in this hierarchy over here. They all need to be children of a higher parent, in this case, in order for us to create these dependencies. And please don't forget to check out my last hot fix foot roll video, which allows you to create these controls for the foot as well. All right, let's start. Right click on your imported FBX uh, asset from rig to U5 and create modular control rig. I'm going to rename mine because I already have one as new. Double click it and it will open the entire uh, modular setup for your character. I'm going to grab this spine, this specific human spine, into this socket. Each socket will always describe the hierarchy plus the functions of the control. So this is important. Next, I'm going to drag and drop the neck module on top. And now I have a head control, as you can see right here. From there, we're going to find the ponytail number two, as we saw in Blender. That is the one that it's going to have a new socket. Please remember, right click, new socket. In this case, this is the one that it's uh, going to receive the chain module. So drag and drop it there, and it will automatically create the entire chain for the hair, for the ponytail. So once you drag and drop it there, the first thing you want to do is to check if all of the um, nulls for the controllers were created and they are right there. That's good. Right click here and we're going to rename this. I'm going to call this ponytail. All right. So that's it. That's basically what you need. So what we want is to move the head control and then drive the dynamic chain. And in order for us to do that, we need to assign a parent. But as you can see, I cannot assign it directly once I have selected because it is not a child of anyone here in the hierarchy. So what I want to do is to drag and drop it into the neck. OK, because it's the head, it's part of a neck. So now it's a child off. And once it's child off, now I can select the parent control, select the head control and just click assign selected and that's how it will automatically assign the control the head control to drive the ponytail so we also see that all of these red controllers were created and those are going to be driving the hair so we can offset our dynamic chain however if you move the head right now you will not see the effect happen and this is because we need to go and configure that into the details by selecting the chain ponytail details and then come down here to dynamics. Just activate this checkbox and play with these other parameters right here. And that will give you the damping, that will give you, you know, the delay. And now you can just move the head control and see that everything is working. That was really easy. You can also offset the controllers of the hair. And if you move the head now, the controllers will also drive the offset bones. Okay, let's talk about how do we set up the chests. Okay, right now I have only one single bone driving the, the breasts. So I'm going to type breast right here, select it, right click, new socket for the breast 
L and then right click new socket for the breast R. After I have done that, I can see that my change module can be drag and drop into either of them. So I'm going to drag it on the right side and call this change breast underscore R. And now don't forget that they need to be children of something in the hierarchy. In our case, it's going to be the spine because the spine is driving, you know, that vertebrae. So I'm going to just drag and drop it into the spine. And once it's a and once it's a child off the spine, I'm going to select the parent control. And obviously it's going to be this one right here. So now that has been selected, I just click uh, assign selected. As you can see right there, I come here into the details, activate dynamics, and now it's working. I can see it move and I can move some other parameters. Next, I'm going to right click and I'm going to use the mirror function. This usually works, but in this part of the video, I made a mistake because I'm using lower caps and I should have used upper caps. Anyways, um, I'm going to right click, rename this um, to the right name, and this is called chain press underscore capital L. And right here, the module, the socket that we need to use is not the right one, it's the left one. So I'm going to just type breast and then select breast underscore L socket. And there you go. That's how you fix it. And this is how it works. Everything is parented and everything was automatically assigned to dynamics. From here, you can just test your character. I'm going to offset the hair. I'm going to move the head. I'm going to move the body and everything should be reacting accordingly. And you're done. This is how you set up your chain module with this character created with rig to u 5 for Unreal Engine. Please do not forget to check out all of the other videos in the playlist. Thank you very much.